Understanding, I'm not swayed by it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that you might hear in conversations, movies, or read in books. I'm not swayed by it. Understanding such phrases is crucial for enhancing your English fluency and comprehension. So, let's get started and unravel what this phrase truly means. The phrase, I'm not swayed by it, consists of a few components that we need to understand individually. First, let's look at the word, swayed. To be swayed means to be influenced or changed in opinion, decision, or course of action by someone or something else. It's like when the wind sways the branches of a tree. It causes them to move or change direction. When someone says they are not swayed by it, they are essentially saying that they are unaffected or uninfluenced by whatever it refers to. This could be an argument, a persuasive speech, an event, or even a person's opinion. Understanding the context in which, I'm not swayed by it, is used is key to fully grasping its meaning. This phrase can be employed in various scenarios, debates or arguments, when someone presents an argument or evidence, and the listener remains unconvinced or unchanged in their viewpoint. Decision making. In situations where one has to make a choice, and external opinions or factors do not alter their decision. Emotional influence. It can also refer to remaining emotionally stable or unaffected by something that might otherwise be upsetting or persuasive. In each of these contexts, the speaker is asserting their resilience, independence, or critical thinking by not being easily influenced or changed. The phrase, I'm not swayed by it, carries a powerful message about personal integrity and strength. It suggests that the speaker has a strong sense of self, is confident in their beliefs or decisions, and values their own judgment over others. This can be particularly empowering in situations where there's a lot of pressure to conform or agree. Furthermore, it highlights the importance of critical thinking and independence. Being able to listen to others, evaluate what is being said, and then make up your own mind is a valuable skill in any language and culture. I'm not swayed by it, is more than just a phrase. It's a declaration of autonomy and critical thinking. It's a useful expression to understand and incorporate into your English vocabulary, especially if you want to express your independence or critical evaluation of something. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Remember, learning English, or any language, is a journey of understanding not just the words, but the culture and nuances behind them. Keep exploring, keep learning, and as always, thank you for watching. See you in our next video.